Automation and InDesign is a style. So I want to review what a style is, and then I want to take styles and expand upon them from what was learned in the Art 1200 InDesign software class. Styles are a feature available in InDesign that allow for the repetition of similar object, type, and or table attributes. They are very similar to master pages in the sense that they repeat something in the exact same way multiple times, but they are different because they allow more flexibility in positioning, size, and shape of the application. Styles are used to repeat something that is similar like the weight of a stroke, color of a word, or paragraph of text, character and paragraph spacing, typeface, etc. InDesign allows for the creation of five distinct types of styles. They are object, paragraph, character, table, and cell. Each type of style is used for a specific reason. Object styles are used to format unassigned and graphic frames. Paragraph and character styles are used to format text within a frame. And table and cell styles are used to format table settings. It is very important to use the most appropriate style when choosing to use styles. For example, paragraph and character styles are both used to format text. However, there are very specific times when a paragraph style is preferred over a character style and vice versa. So when, let's start with object styles. When should you use an object style? Use object styles to format containers, so unassigned frames, graphic frames, or even text frames, but you're going to format the frame itself, not the content inside the frame. These styles are used to adjust settings like the stroke or the weight of the stroke and the color of the stroke on the outside of the frame. Corner options, do you want them to be rounded or beveled? Fill color effects like drop shadows, and things like that. I put paragraph and character styles on the same slide here because it's important to know that they're both for text, but they have different purposes. So when should you use a paragraph style? Use a paragraph style when an entire paragraph needs to be formatted in the same way. This doesn't necessarily mean the paragraph must include multiple sentences or even multiple words. If the entire paragraph is one word, it should still be formatted using a paragraph style. Use paragraph styles for everything you need to format with respect to the text in your document, including settings like typeface, size, color, spacing, letting, tracking, etc. So if you're going to basically format everything with a paragraph style, when should you use a character style? Only use character styles when a paragraph style will not work for your needs. For example, if one word within a paragraph is different than the rest of the paragraph, so if a single word within a paragraph needs to be bold or italic or even formatted as blue with an underline to indicate it's a hyperlink, a character style would be used to format just what's different. So you'll still format the entire paragraph using a paragraph style. Then you'll go back and you'll use a character style for just the one word. We're not going to cover table and cell styles in great detail in this course, but they are applied in the same way and they work just like any other style. So when would you use a table style? Consider table styles to be similar to paragraph styles. Always use a table style to format your tables, unless a table style won't work for your needs. Table styles can be used to set table attributes like the fill color, borders, text alignment, etc. And then you'll use cell styles similarly to the way that you use character styles. Only use them if a table style will not do what you need it to do. More specifically, cell styles are used to change something that is different within a table. Maybe one cell has a red fill color, while the rest of the cells have a light gray fill color. In this example, the red cell would require a cell style. 